Hi, welcome to the Personal History Hub. This video is all about the draft and the draft system. So what actually was the draft system? The draft was compulsory service in the military forces. So those selected for the draft were sent draft cards, just like the one shown on the right hand side of the page, telling them where and when to report. Men were drafted from the age of 18. Few people over 26 were ever drafted. The draft created even more opposition to the war as many felt it was simply unfair. The draft system was changed in 1969 to a lottery system. All men born between 1944 and 1950 were given a random number and each time more soldiers were needed a number was drawn. This fixed up the ages and made the draft fairer. During the war over 26 million men were eligible for the draft. Of the 2.6 million who served in Vietnam, 650,000 were draftees. People argued that the draftees were too young and not well enough trained, increasing their chances of being killed. Anti-war protests launched a campaign against the conscription of young men into the army. There were exemptions to the system that seemed to favour the wealthy middle class who could pay for, say, a fake doctor's note. A much higher proportion of black and working class Americans were called up. So avoiding the draft. There were ways to avoid or delay being drafted. College students could delay being drafted until they graduated. Clergymen and students training to work in the church were exempt from the air draft. Those proving that their joining up would be a hardship for their family were also exempt. So say if they were the, the sole uh, financial provider for a family or they were a carer. The physically and mentally unfit were exempt, so that's why some people went to get a fake doctor's note. The only son of a family was exempt, and conscientious objectors could avoid fighting but often had to do other war work like making weapons or go to prison. So a conscientious objector is someone who completely opposes war, so therefore they refuse to fight and it's uh, kind of politically opposed to it. Studying or working abroad or even leaving the USA illegally. The draft resistance movement was formed giving advice on how to avoid conscription. Some protesters burned their draft cards. By the end of 1969, there were 34,000 draft dodgers wanted by the police. Many crossed the border to Canada to avoid arrest. Other groups aided draft board officers and burnt their records. At first, those who took part were harshly punished with as much as six years in prison. However, the sentences got shorter as the protests and the war went on. About 3 million men fought in Vietnam and about 15 million managed to avoid the draft. Okay, thanks for listening. The next video is going to be on Kent State University.